welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my four month pregnancy update. So this is gonna be weeks 13 through 16. Initially I was planning on doing weekly updates. Um, what actually ended up happening was my dad was in the hospital for a full week um, with pancreatitis. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen my post about that. But basically it was really stressful and he was in a ton of pain and it was just like, it's really stressful when you have a family member in the hospital. Um, and so obviously like, I wasn't worried about YouTube updates and things like that. So I missed a couple of weeks there, but I realized like monthly updates might make more sense anyway, because then I have more to talk about. There's really not much to talk about after just one week. I can't believe I'm already four months pregnant. Like that just seems really far along to me. But according to my apps, which I use Baby Center and The Bump, if you're curious. So according to the Baby Center app, um, the baby is about the size of an avocado. That seems so big to me. Four and a half inches long and three and a half ounces. So symptoms. I wanna quickly say when I am talking about pregnancy symptoms, I really hope that no one takes that as me complaining by any means. You guys know like the struggle that Wes and I had to get pregnant. So um, these no symptoms are ever complaints for me. It's just that when it comes to pregnancy symptoms and updates, they're, a lot of times like the symptoms that you notice are the ones that are more negative or like aches and pains or nausea and things like that but i'm thrilled with every <laughs> symptom that i get so just so you know like i'm not complaining okay so right around the 13 and a half week mark is when my energy came back so you guys know if you watched my first pregnancy update that fatigue was my main symptom and i was having a hard time making it through the day without a nap um, I was just tired all the time in the first trimester and I expected to get my energy back in the second trimester That's what everyone always says, but I thought like oh when I hit 12 weeks It'll just be right back to normal and that's not how it happened for me for me It was more around 13 and a half weeks, which according to my apps You don't enter the second trimester until 14 weeks, which is confusing to me Some people say 12 some people say 14. I don't know I noticed because obviously I was in the hospital all the time like helping out with my dad and everything and I Was fully energized. So like I was really thankful for the timing of that because I don't know if I would have made it like being at the hospital all day long and under all the stress we were under and everything if I was at the like fatigue that I had just a couple of weeks prior. I noticed a huge increase in energy and like I don't need naps anymore. Where I'm at right now though is kind of weird because um, I'm 16 weeks exactly today. I should have said that earlier, but I noticed that lately it's like my, everything is kind of up and down. Like um, most days my energy is completely back and um, I feel, I don't even feel pregnant most days, but then every so often I'll just have a day where I feel like I got hit by a truck and I'll feel really hormonal. I will get a little bit of nausea and I will get tired and I'll need a nap or whatever. It's just kind of like when I wake up in the morning, I don't really know what kind of day I'm about to have. Um, but for the most part, I feel really good. And like I said, a lot of times I don't even feel pregnant. When we were at the hospital, my dad kept like telling all the nurses, like, I'm going to be a granddad, you know? and I would be like, oh yeah, because I just wasn't even thinking about it at all. A new symptom that started since um, entering the second trimester is a little bit of like heartburn and acid reflux. And when I first got it, I've never had it before in my entire life. Actually, I don't even know if it is heartburn or acid reflux because I'm not completely sure on the difference. I made for dinner one night this taco soup and it was really good but I, I think between like the tomato-iness of it and then the spiciness of it it really gave me bad heartburn and ever since then I noticed if I eat anything that's too acidic or um sometimes if I have a little bit of coffee which obviously I don't have much but even just like my half a cup of coffee it's usually not just one thing that'll do it but if I have multiple things like that I'll notice that it gets pretty bad and of course me being the paranoid person that I am. I don't want to take anything, but I, yesterday I was getting it kind of bad and it makes you feel kind of nauseous. So I looked in my what to expect book and it said you can take Tums cause Tums isn't like a chemical medication. It's just calcium. So I took a couple of those and that worked perfectly. So I guess that's what I'll be doing from now on. My boobs are like getting 
bigger and sore all the time. None of my bras fit. It's kind of weird because like my loose sports bras that I used to wear that were like my comfy bras are super tight now so I need to go shopping probably and get some bigger ones and like it's just making my all my clothes fit kind of weird and uncomfortable which and that's just been like a weird thing I mean I was expecting that obviously people always talk about that but it's it's just weird when all of a sudden like everything is growing my skin has been pretty good overall I know that's kind of like a hit or miss thing like some women get a lot of acne during pregnancy some women get like great skin and like glowing skin i think my skin has been just kind of normal i did get a skin tag which is the first time i've ever gotten a skin tag before and it was on my armpit and it was just like this is weird it just came out of nowhere which i googled it and skin tags are like a pregnancy symptom who knew <laughs> it turned like this is gross it turned like bright red and I was like, why does it look so weird? And then it turned, one morning I woke up and it was like black and then it just fell off. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Something that I didn't talk about in my first update but that has been true throughout pregnancy is I just feel like I don't have a lot of motivation with work. And I'm assuming, of course, this is like a hormonal thing. Whereas I used to get really kind of pumped up about <laughs> work and like, working on my shop, but it's almost like I have trouble concentrating or like keeping my focus. I just find that I'm more interested in um, homemaking type stuff and domestic stuff and cooking and, and cleaning and things like that, which I've always been that way. Like even in college, um, my roommates would like make fun of me because I was always the one like vacuuming and just, I don't know, I like I like homemaking, you know, in general, but it has been weird to me how like stuff with my shop or money making stuff just it really isn't very interesting to me anymore um and I assume that's probably just hormones and like getting more I guess nesting type hormones and nurturing hormones I still haven't had any real like morning sickness like I said you know every once in a while I'll get maybe kind of a wave of nausea some some mornings when I wake up I feel kind of lightheaded and just off but really no morning sickness to speak of I'm so thankful for that I really haven't had morning sickness at all this pregnancy just little waves of nausea but it's not no big deal at all sleeping has gotten different lately so when you're pregnant you're not allowed to sleep or you're not supposed to sleep on your stomach for obvious reasons the baby's there or on your back which I didn't know until I was like halfway through my first uh, trimester I guess the back thing isn't as big of a deal until week 20 from what I read um, and the, the sleeping on your stomach isn't as big of a deal until you have like a bigger bump but I've been trying to get used to that because those are the exact ways that I always slept. Like I've never been a side sleeper. I always slept on my stomach or my back and kind of flip flop, flop around throughout the night. And that's been really, really hard for me to get used to because I just can't get comfortable. You know, like you just get used to sleeping a certain way and sleeping that way your whole life. So that's been really hard to get used to. And I find that I wake up, I think because I'm conscious of that all night, and I'm in like weird uncomfortable positions and I wake up with back pain sometimes like yesterday I woke up with really bad back pain and I know that it's not from like my bump yet because my bump isn't big enough to cause back pain yet I don't think um, although they do say like your ligaments and stuff like that soften up and sometimes that can cause back pain so it's probably like a combination of all of that I don't know Wes was like let's get you one of those pregnancy pillows so we got one of those um, it's called a snoogle and I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like a big long pillow that kind of curves at the ends. And that has helped a little bit because it keeps me from rolling over. But I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. Like I'll use it for a night or two and then I'll be like, I don't want this thing. Because it does kind of, when you have to get up in the middle of the night to pee or whatever, like it's really hard to get out of bed because you got this giant pillow like um, in the way. As far as weight gain goes, I gained four pounds this month, which I think is what I've read you're supposed to do. Like after the first trimester, I read you want to gain like a pound a week. I've gained now about 10 pounds total. So I think that's good. Honestly, it's hard to say though because 
I read different things. Like I've read, obviously you want to gain 25 to 35 pounds for the whole pregnancy, but it's hard to figure out like if right now I'm on track with it. I don't know. I just, basically I just eat the same foods that I ate before. I don't have like that eating for two mindset which I think is important, but I eat when I'm hungry. I definitely eat more than I ate before, that's for sure. As far as cravings go, it's about the same as it was in my first update. I don't crave sweets at all. In fact, like I'll have a bite of something sweet and I'm done. It really, it almost makes me kind of nauseous, like the thought of sweets and rich sweets. And I've never had a sweet tooth, but usually I do want more sweets. Whereas when I've, since I've been pregnant, I just don't want sweets. It's kind of weird. But what I want is cheesy stuff, salty stuff, carbs. That's where I'm at right now. Like tortilla chips and a hot dip. That, oh, and I've always loved that stuff more than sweets anyway. So for me with pregnancy, I haven't had any different cravings. It's just been like more of what I've always loved. Wes was laughing at me because the kind of stereotype pregnancy thing is to eat a pint, a pint of ice cream. You always see like pregnant women with a pint of ice cream. And I, the other day, ate like a whole pint of cottage cheese. <laughs> So I think like cheese is kind of my pregnancy thing. I don't know, but I love cottage cheese. Week 14, we had our first appointment with my midwife down here. So all of my other appointments have been with the fertility doctor. And this is my first appointment with the midwife and meeting her and everything. And I really, really like her a lot. She is like so calming. She's a certified nurse midwife, but yeah, I just really love her. Like. I can just tell she is the right kind of person for me because I have a lot of anxious energy, especially when it comes to health stuff or being at the hospital. That kind of stuff makes me really nervous and she has such a like calming presence. At the ultrasound, the baby was like flipping around like crazy. And this ultrasound was cool because we got to see a lot more like different angles and stuff than what we would usually see at the fertility doctor. But it was just crazy to, it's a weird feeling like to be looking at the screen and the baby's in there doing flip flops, but you can't feel it yet. So I haven't felt any movement yet, but I'm sure that'll come later. I've heard that with your first baby, it usually takes a little longer to feel that, but I can't wait for that. I think that'll be so exciting. As far as baby buys go, we haven't, bought anything new this month. I didn't mention in my first update that we already do have the crib because I knew like the exact one that I really wanted. It's the Pottery Barn Kendall. And so I had like Craigslist alerts for it and we ended up finding one for a fraction of the price of a new one and it's in great condition on Craigslist. So we already have that. I also got a ton of hand-me-downs from my one of my cousins and then one of Wes's cousins. They gave me like a ton of maternity clothes. I, I feel like I'm pretty much set on maternity clothes. We're really lucky to have like such nice cousins and um, we're kind of like the younger ones in both of our families. So we are getting all of these hand-me-downs, which is awesome. So I think that's about everything that I have to talk about for month four. I will go ahead and show you the bump. much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like me to cover in my next update and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Okay. You can come in here.